So today I am quilting Moroccan tiles on a K-Facet quilt. Um, so I bought the Fat Quarter Bundle from So Yeah when they were on sale. Were they $20? I think they were $20 or $25. Um, I seem to collect K-Facet in one of my drawers and I don't know what to do with it. And then I saw the perfect pattern. So you take the fat quarters and you make a, the largest square you can. On some of these, the largest square I could make was 18 inches. And you make a nine patch out of your 18 inch squares. And then you dissect your nine patch by cutting it in half twice. So once this way, once this way, and you set the pieces aside. I think I have um, two nine patches in this, which made it 72 by 70 something by 70 something. This quilt went together in about less than three hours and that was with me starching my, all my fabric and pressing and being real precise on cutting uh, up the disappearing nine patch. Um, I'm very pleased with this. It shows off uh, the cave prints beautifully. And um, I'm not sure that I would have ever used these or figured out how to use them. I, I have trouble cutting up those pieces because, let me show you. So let's take this print right here. These these flower or these leaves are about the size of my hand. But when you go to do a scrappy quilt or something, when you cut this up, you're not just gonna have the tan. You're gonna have a grouping of turquoise. You're gonna have a grouping of blue. Um, I mean, this is the same way, a tan, and then you'll have blue, you would have brown. This one predominantly is purple with some turquoise. So it's really hard to uh, use these because the prints are so big and so loud. I at least have trouble using them, but they are truly beautiful. And after I made this, I saw Last Homely House and she had made a seed packet quilt out of the, these fabrics. And I think that's a kit you can buy, and it is marvelous. So that may be on my list, and it may make my list for next year. Thanks for watching.